Hey folks, so we're talking about the data for a long time and you know that uh, I'm a big fan of the sovereign data so the sovereign data is more about the ownership that you own the data and you not just own the data but you own the tools and possibilities that allow you to compute process and get any kind of insights on top of this data it's important that you know just uh, Having the data in your head, uh, hands is not enough. We already talk about the small data versus big data. Yeah, that the small data is the sovereign data, usually that uh, you really care. And uh, the data that have some kind of meaning for you and uh, they are uh, human friendly, brain friendly data. And uh, we talk a lot uh, about how the artificial intelligence uh, help us to uh, consume all your data that you have and uh, help you to build the small data that you really could uh, give focus and context and today we will talk about the data in a slightly different angle that are actually related to the small data because majority of the small data actually is the soft data and the soft data and hard data and metadata it's maybe not so uncommon concept but i found it quite interesting and useful to understand that hard data it's all your artifacts like your emails bills uh, shopping data uh, the data from your phone the data from your watch all the facts that you have and uh, quite often people can to uh, build artificial intelligence on top of this data because uh, they doing the same mistake as uh, enterprise and big tech that if you will have a lot of data points you will see some magical insights but as practice show that your hard data like your bills and shopping uh, things and so on or your uh, exercises it's more artifacts of your behavior and the side effects of completely different thing so it's more the products but not the root causes so if you want to understand yourself better and if you want to understand why you have these artifacts at the end you need slightly different data and this data uh, fits to a completely different bucket and it's not probably in your email box it's probably in your head because the soft data it's more about the ideas uh, your uh, thoughts uh, your emotions, the events that are important for you. It's something that sits in your head and maybe it doesn't have some real artifacts. If uh, you are not a big fan of journaling or, for example, interacting with other personal assistant kin that will ask you the right questions and get some uh, really important uh, information about your values, about your goals, about yourself that will help to understand yourself better. So the soft data, it's more about yourself. And it's more about the root causes, not the artifacts. And the last piece, actually it's a metadata and soft data could have a metadata and hard data could have a metadata and even metadata itself uh, could have some products that we build the analytic pipelines, we try to analyze it, we try to, you know, connect them in a different way and get some data insights. But, you know, we are more in a soft and sovereign data space because this kind of data usually have the maximum value, but usually you don't have so much tools that allows you to work with this uh, data right now and actually I really believe on this concept and it's what we are doing in uh, my team so join our beta right now it's even easier to join you just need to go to our website mykeen.ie and register and uh, uh, then uh, you will be able to get your friends on your phone so that's all that I was keen to share with you and subscribe to our channel Follow us on the social media and see you next time. Tschüss.